Let's talk about uh, that as well right now with the Chancellor, George Osborne, who joins us live from the Conservative Party conference in Manchester. Very good morning to you. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, let's just pick up on uh, Help to Buy and that scheme. Um, is there not a danger that if you're offering people the ability to get a 95% mortgage, that you're offering them the ability also to overstretch themselves? No, I don't agree with that at all. 95% mortgages or 90% mortgages were the way that many, many people in this country, probably many people watching this program, bought their home. And they're not weapons of financial destruction. They're a way of helping people onto the housing ladder. What we're clear is that people, of course, have to be able to afford the mortgage repayments. And we've got much tougher rules we've introduced on things like self-certification. Of course, it will be repayment mortgages. But that doesn't mean that people should be asked for very large deposits of the kind they're being asked for at the moment. That's a problem with the banks, not a problem with the housing market. And Help to Buy is going to help those families get onto the housing ladder who currently can't afford to do so. And I think that is part of a fair and aspirational society. OK, if you boost demand, which these presumably will in some sense at least, one of the main problems, isn't it, with the housing market is supply. So isn't that perhaps where you should be concentrating um, your policies? Well, I think you need to do both. I think you need to help people uh, afford uh, housing and help people afford mortgages, but that also will boost supply. So, for example, there are 12,000 people who've already used part of the Help to Buy scheme to buy newly built homes, which by definition, of course, uh, didn't exist before. And I'm all for actually making sure we get more homes built in our society. I think this is a really big issue facing our country. Is this generation who've got homes prepared to say to the next generation, you know what, I'm afraid you're never going to be able to afford a home or there's never going to be a home available for you. I think that would be a very, very bad step for our country. And I want to make sure as the economy recovers, uh, as we turn this corner, people who aspire to own their own home are going to get support from this government. Um, let's also talk about help to work because we know that you're talking about that today, um, getting tough pretty much on people who are long term unemployed. Um, what about actually finding them jobs? Because we understand what they will have to do, but are there the jobs for them? Well, the jobs are being created in our economy. There's great news today, for example, TNT Post, a delivery company, is creating a thousand jobs for people here in Manchester to help the long term unemployed, indeed 20,000 jobs, I believe, over the next five years. It's just an example of how jobs are being created in our economy. I want to make sure that people who've been long term unemployed are able to deal with that, are able to uh, take those jobs as and when they are created. And that's why we're saying, look, you're not going to be able to do nothing in return for your uh, benefits uh, anymore. You're going to have to either turn up at the job center every day or you're going to have to undertake community work or you're going to have to get help for some underlying problem you might have like a drug addiction or illiteracy. We're saying you know, we're not going to leave behind anymore a generation on long term unemployment. We're going to do everything we can to help them into work. And for them to sign on every day there needs to be investment does there? Look, I think this is a good investment. We're putting extra money into the job centres to deliver this programme. It is all about saying, look, our economic problems that have built up over many years need to be solved as a country this time. And whether it's dealing with our debts or making sure that people can afford their homes or making sure we don't leave people on long term uh, unemployment benefits forever. It's all about saying it's not over. We are going to fix these problems once and for all. Um, and just talk about the kind of jobs that you're thinking that they will get, because if they are long term unemployed, presumably they've already been on your work programme. This is, is this admission that that's not getting people into work? Well, there, of course, will have been helped by uh, the work programme, helped by the job centres. But these are people who, you know, for whatever reason, that hasn't worked. These are people who are long term uh, unemployed, been unemployed for three years years or more and as I say as a society we can either say you know what we're just going to tolerate the fact that there are going to be many workless people in our society who we never expect to try and get into work and you know frankly that is what has happened over the last 20 years I think that's a tragedy for our country and a tragedy for those individuals so here we are taking the action to create a welfare system that works for those who need it but is also fair to those who pay for it, those watching this programme who are going out to work and paying their taxes, making sure they're getting value for money for this uh, welfare system as well. Um, let's talk as little uh, as well about living standards. Do you accept 
that there is a real concern about living standards. We saw about 50,000 people on the streets of Manchester yesterday. Do you accept that? And what are you going to do for people who are really concerned about the money they have to spend every week? Look, of course I accept there's a real concern about living standards because you know, let's be clear, what happened to our country five or six years ago made our country poorer. It was an economic catastrophe. And that really points to the big argument I'm making in my speech today, which is that you can't have a living standards plan unless you have an economic plan. That it's an economic plan that delivers the jobs and the lower mortgage rates, uh, that helps people keep more of their income tax-free. Those are the things that do the most to help with people's living standards. And it is that economic plan that is helping Britain turn a corner in, in what is already and remains a very, very uh, difficult world out there. You, you know, the BBC is reporting at the moment problems for the Italian government, deadlock in the US Congress. The debt crisis has not disappeared. We've got to stick to our economic plan, and that is also the way to improve living standards. George Osborne, Chancellor, thank you for your time here on Breakfast this morning. Four minutes to eight. Time now. To